are some injuries for both teams. No Van Vliet, no Lowry. So Terrence Davis will get the start. The rookie out of Ole Miss, his third start of the year. Norman Pert as probable with a toothache, but now is out after oral surgery. So Pat Connaughton will start for him. It's his second start of the year. All-star Chris Middleton. Brooke Lopez, since he's back home. I don't think he has the ability, the knowledge to search the internet and do what you have to do the process that you go through to become a virtual fan. I don't know if you heard it, but he's been calling for exotic animals to make appearances uh, with the virtual fans. I'm shocked the way he's basically went at Mr. Pickles, claiming him to be the ugliest cone and initiates a lot of offense for them. And you look at the Raptors, they're missing that dynamic backcourt duo of Van Fleet and Kyle Lowry, how they set the tone for the loss. Here's Connaughton on the baseline. Lopez, corner three is up and good. He has had the hot hand in a major. So much improved on the defensive end, protecting the rim. Here's Connaughton from deep. That one's good, so back-to-back -back triples by the Bucks. Milwaukee clinched the playoff spot back on February 23rd. It was the earliest in NBA history. Siakam connects on a loan, too. Interesting thing, I say they have to make adjustment. The Bucks are the one team that won't adjust. They're going to make you beat them from the three-point line. Jumper goes for Matt Thomas, 26-year-old rookie. Puts it on the deck. Pretty shit. He's got two championship rings. <laughs> it must be nice. That's two more than me. Siakam able to get to the rim and lays it up and in. Here's DiVincenzo from deep. Off the heel. Able to get his own miss. Fires to George Hill. The leading three-point shooter this year in the NBA. Around 47%. Soren himself was doing a great job of making plays for one another. Siakam with a good pass underneath to Thomas. Here's Boucher again from long range. Got another one. Two of the best shooters in the game. You're trying to improve your shooting game. And one, one is into those guys. And one, one is an all-time great shooter. He's in the discussion with anybody that's ever played the game. And Kyle Coleman. So that's the right guy to talk to about shooting. George Hill is the league leader in three-point shooting coming into tonight. Here he puts it on the deck and gets to the rim. And the Bucks back with him. Five points off the bench for George Hill. Not named a finalist for sixth man of the year, but he's been one of the best reserves in basketball in 2020. Paul Watson, a rookie from Florida State who's played only six minutes in the bubble, is getting some work tonight as Matt Thomas, a phenomenal has got to get your undivided attention as a defender. You can't fall asleep and allow him to have That's back to back wide open shots. Six opening quarter threes by Milwaukee as Matt Thomas continues to have the high. I'm not sure that the Lakers have that ability and it's you know, being exposed right now, closing out the season. They have wrapped up the number one seed in the Western Conference. Four seconds to go here in the quarter. Thomas falling out of bounds, drills a three. He can't miss here. How do you get that through the organization? Well, we, we like to play defense, right? And we, we kind of hope that everybody will. And um, I think our vet guys really lead that out, and they kind of demand it of the rest of the guys, and it just kind of trickles down through the team. Fantastic. Thanks, Coach. Back Thanks. to you guys. Six for Boucher. Raptors playing without Van Vliet, Lowry, Ibaka. No Giannis tonight for Milwaukee. Pat Connaughton, the leading scorer for the Bucks with 10. Now you think about it. You call on one of these guys, you're not going to call on them and not have <laughs> Thomas knocks out another one, not have Van Vliet or not call on them, and they're going to have guys on the floor to lead them through the entire process. Ilya Sova. Excellent pass. Connaughton. Ely Silva getting extended minutes tonight. Only played four against Dallas the other night. Put back by Connaughton after the blood zone miss. Doesn't make that shot. That's good defense. Understanding the scouting report. He's two for 18 now from three. Boucher up high. Rips down the board after the Ely Silva miss. Hollis Jefferson attacks. Kicks it out. Now Boucher hangs and finishes. So five on four. Middleton fumbles it. Right to Boucher. And to Hollis Jefferson for the slam. And a timeout.
He was with Charlotte for the last five and a half years, signed with the Bucks on February 10th. Siakam gets into the paint. And that's six points from Ken Goddard. Mark Gasol is big enough, smart enough to defend him. Serge Ibaka is another guy, and then you can go small. They have a variety of guys and help around those guys. The OG will guard him some, too, as Middleton Player of the Year. Now, that was a much younger Mark Gasol when he won that award about seven years ago. And an OB, or excuse me, uh, Terrence Davis able to win July. And they have not been disappointed with his performance this season. Wild shot there by the Bucks. Here comes Siakam in transition. Foul for three. Good. He is. We thought they were going to come in, lay down. They're competing. They will play the Raptors in the first round. They're locked in. It'll be the 2 7 matchup in the East. George Hill with another three ball. Davis ahead to Powell goes right at Corver and the follow is good by Davis. Davis has played well. Corver and he is really been outstanding. They're undefeated and he's been their franchise player since coming into the bubble. He's got to be in the top five. Two second difference here in the clocks at the end of the first half. Siakam being defended by Connaughton. Gasol with three seconds. Siakam for three with the shot clock about to expire. The Raptors with 15 points apiece. 14 for Korver to top Milwaukee. Here's Powell. Inside the arc. Hits again. Sometimes weapon going into the postseason. Shows you how valuable it is to be ready when your number's called. Now they have to play. He's proven that he's a legit big-time talent. Think about it. Earlier in the year, he wasn't playing at all. Here's Gasol. Three-point shot. Short. Controlled by Williams. 13-point Raptor lead. Three minutes gone by in the third. Let's it. So strong. Able to muscle it through contact. Off the window and down. And an OB. Third team foul on the Raptors. DiVincenzo. Boy, what an athlete he is. Tough shot by the second four. Bledsoe, three on the way. DiVincenzo way up high, couldn't tip at all. Connaughton hits the deck. Siakam. Powell drives, kisses it off the glass. He's got 21 pushes. As Rachel reported earlier, there was a leak uh, about an hour before tip-off, but they got it taken care of. As Siakam, a big cushion, he didn't take advantage of it. Bad pass by Corbett, picked off by Siakam. Siakam, oh, nice pass that time. Helps, hung in the air forever, looked to the perimeter, then to the corner, and there he is again. Matt Thomas hitting. Here it's an 11-point game. Dave Pash, Mark Jackson, Rachel Nichols. 80 to 69, Toronto in front, three and a half to go here in the third quarter. Siakam finds a cutting Boucher, puts it in against Lopez. Shows leadership of that second unit, vital last year for Milwaukee and will be again in the playoffs. So proud of that young man. He went to IUPUI in Indiana and Thomas knocks out another jump shot. He Six rebounds, 11 points off the bench, or 13 points rather for Chris Boucher. The lead is up to 15 now for Toronto. Raptors trying to get their 51st win of the season. It's their fifth consecutive year with 50 or more wins. Top shot by Middleton. As he's a coach, he wants his team to do better no matter what. Mike Budenholzer has already won Coach of the Year twice, once in Atlanta and then last year with Milwaukee. So if he wins the award again, he'll be the fourth ever to win that award three times. Fred Popovich, Pat Rock with the Spurs. Outstanding cup. Chris Middleton, meanwhile, scored the last eight points for Milwaukee as 14 on the night. Boucher open from the wing and hits another three. That is his third triple. Playing in his 60th game, played in 29 total games the last two years with the Warriors and Raptors, and won back-to-back -back titles. Oh, here Boucher flushes it against two bucks. 
Again, it's a situation where if he's called upon in the playoffs, as a head coach, you're comfortable. You're comfortable putting him in in, in a situation where you need him to make a I think you can put the Rosen in that conversation, too. Absolutely. Multiple All-NBA selections as a member of the Raptors. And an OB with the slam. Got around Middleton and stuffed it. Have a family. It's obviously very different. Daily FaceTimes with the kids. And, and also, a guy like Corver hopes and expects to be here, right, for the full three months. So he's get the family through the tough quarantine process. The NBA has laid out four family members to come join players after the first round of the playoffs. The initial guidelines call for a first quarantine off campus, then coming on campus and staying in a single hotel room for four days. <laughs> He's not the only one. Is this your first trip to the East Coast in like 10 years? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, Wilson, it's his free throws. It's a 10-point game. 10 straight points by Milwaukee in just over a minute. Half of those by Corver. Davis leans in and drops it home. Talking to Nick. Hollis Jefferson spinning. Corver's got it. Bucks have gone cold. Bledsoe blows by his man. Great pass to Ilya Silva. Beautiful look by Bledsoe. That's three great plays. He had made all of his shots from the floor and from the line prior to that. Tough shot by Watson. Hangs and finishes. The week and then a week from tonight, the playoffs start. DiVincenzo on the cut. They work it around to Bledsoe. His three is good, and the Bucks are within eight. Ball in the hands of Bledsoe. Steven Chenzo gets to the rim, lays it up and in. And the lead for the Raptors is going baseline. It was cut off by Wilson. Thomas blocked on a three-point try to shot clock at two. Hollis Jefferson has to put it up and scores. Competing. It doesn't seem like their playoff lives are secure. Bledsoe, uncontested to the basket. Shot clock down to three. Here's Thomas, has to let it fly. Opportunity to tip it in the first time. It didn't go by Johnson, but then Boucher. That's awesome. He's giving the son a shout out. I'm sure the son heard it. It's on cloud nine. Wilson for three. No good. Johnson with the rebound. With games left against Philadelphia and Denver, they will play Brooklyn in the first round of the playoffs in the 2-7 matchup. Milwaukee will drop to 55 and 16 and 2 and 4 in the bubble. Bucks have Washington and Memphis left in their seeding games. Raptors, well, both teams.